Moldy old behind. I'm your host, Michael. No, that was the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Jason Ambers. Omae wa mou shindeiru. Nani? Yeah, today we, I think I think we died the last episode. This is this is now <laughs> we're now in purgatory. Let's spin this purgatory uh, wheel and see what we're playing. So we've been isekai. Yeah. Uh, well, so crunchy ties me, Captain. Nah, isekai, isekai me, truck I mean, good. <laughs> the title of this game is how I felt about Superman. <laughs> Acclaim. Uh huh. Iguana. Uh huh. Oh, this is like an RC car game. Yeah, I really hope it's not Micro Machines controls because it's going to irk me. I was going to say, Micro Machines is still on the board, so... That's true. I love that music. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm just gonna reload this real quick so I can open up all the cars and tracks and shit. There we go. Mm. I normally when I go through when I grab games is I, I usually have time to go through and like activate cheats that I want to do before the show. I didn't have that time today. Unfortunately, so some of these I'm gonna have to do do it on the fly, but that's all right. Okay. Um, uh, sure. All right. Oh, I get to enter my name. I wonder how many characters I get. That's enough. Dog nuts. Yeah. I am dog nuts. What the dog doing? <laughs> Ooh. Toys in the hood. They're always hard. If you come talking that bim, trash, bim. we'll pull your card. Knowing nothing in life but to be legit. Don't quote me, boy. I ain't said shit. So obviously I picked this one because I felt I thought it would be the best vehicle in the game. Oh wow, it actually controls like f really fucking good. Yeah, wow. That's actually that really smooth. Oh Jesus, almost too Whoa. smooth. Jesus. I'm overshooting. I, a little more finesse, I think. All right. Wee. It's basically I'm um, controlling a spaceship. Yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly thought this was going to be like Micro Machines, but no, it's not. So, Micro Machines! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, geez. Swerve, swerving when you drive. Okay, if I use the control pad, it's a little easier. Which is really weird in a fucking racing game. A 3D one, I might add. Am I going the wrong way? Nope. Hence the gigantic X and the number increasing at the bottom, showing you how far behind you are from the other guy. I don't... Did, did I don't freeze? understand. Did what just freeze? Did I lose connection? Oh, I lost connection there for a second. I was going to say, I, I was playing it. So, yeah, no, it was I don't know what the hell this like, X is for then, because I went both directions and it was still showing up. Uh, I mean, the, the number is still going up, which means that the other car is way... Okay, now you're going the right direction. Oh, maybe I'm going the wrong way now. Oh, there we go. This this game needs like a TT sound effect. No 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 no, wrong way, wrong way. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba. Oh shit! Where am I? That was the start line. All right, cool. 
Just what I needed. <laughs> this this freaking game lets you literally drive anywhere that's not the course. Yeah, that's not realistic. An RC car would never drive everywhere. No, there's a lot of things that an RC car can't actually drive through. And and you're you're just never going to reach the finish line to make lap 2 at this point. You're just exploring the neighborhood. Uh, th yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm... Ah, shit. Uh, you, you are negative 1,400 whatever that is away from I think it's meters. the person in front of you. Somebody finished. Wasn't me. Hama. Hama. I think this, hum -da, hum -da, I think this, this particular RC might be the problem. It's, uh, the control's too good. I might have to pick a different car. Can I can I just go back and pick no. Alright. Quit then. And we'll go back and pick a different this is car. A weird ass racing game. It is a weird ass racing game. Hold on, let let's go. Let's just let's go like reduce speed there for a second. We got clockwork, RC, okay, so we got RC band, clockwork, tree, two, clockwork, trolley, panga, AMW, Toyeka, Hama, Cougar, rotor, zipper, pole pose, Adion, pest control, Bertha ballistics, 954, R6 turbo, uh... evil weasel, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the weasel! <laughs> Genghis Car. <laughs> Genghis Car. Candy Pebbles, RC Sun. There's a lot of fucking choices. Holy crap, yeah. Dr. Grudge, Colonel Moss. Fat Slug. Fat Slug. Okay. Alright, um. Let's go. doesn't even show what clockwork looks like. Yeah. Let's go with Let's this go with one. Panga. Yeah. What the fuck? It's it's a panda on wheels. Okay. Let's see if it's any better handling. Oh my lord, it's huge. Oh god, it's like one of those ones that can like flip upside down but keep going. It's like an actual panda size. Oh, this is much better. Holy shit. Night and day. It actually controls like a vehicle. Yeah. I'd rather be a giant fucking panda car, I think, than a UFO. Which is a sentence you can only say in this game. Oh, man. That's so much better. I did. I do have it on the mode where it's at reduced speed, though. So that also probably has a lot to do with it. But. Oh, yeah. That's much more smooth. Okay, I'm, I can kind of dig this now. This thing sounds like a battery-operated chainsaw. Or, uh, not chainsaw, weed whacker. A motherfucking chainsaw. <laughs> I've still got brake stuff stuck in my head. Yeah, wow. it sounds like a fucking weed whacker. <laughs> Okay, so it is. It does tell me which way to go on the HUD there. So that's nice. I guess I should have been paying attention to that instead of my distance. I'm 46 meters ahead, though. 49, whatever. So that's nice. Yeah, give or take. Bum 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 bum. Ding ding. Bing bing. Good old Axel F. Yeah, didn't that movie just uh the sequel just hit uh Netflix? I think so. Yeah. 
Final lap. Literally another. <laughs> Final lap. Yeah, this is no, uh, this is no episode one racer, that's for certain. True. It's a new lap record. Public Enemy releases a new album. It's a new rap record. <laughs> it's funny as I think I've done that joke before. <laughs> it's, uh... Yep, straight ahead into the pipe. Got it. It's, uh... Well, think I've won this race. Yay! Dog nuts wins. <laughs> Look at the fucking face of the panda on the front. It's uh, Jacob Super Boobs. It's a new fat record. <laughs> Had to bring that one back. <laughs> Billy comes out of the toilet after eight hours. It's a new crap record. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's play one more track, I guess. Yeah, I mean, might as well. It's interesting. Yeah, it ain't it's like not, it's, it's not terrible. I'm gonna put it crap. back on. I'm gonna do full speed again. Plays Panga. And we'll do Supermarket 2. Supermarket Sweep. <laughs> Oops. Whoa, that slowdown. Yeah, I was going to say, drop frames like a mofo. Yep. I will say now that I'm I've put it back on full speed, it is still handling well. So it was just the car. I forgot I didn't see where to go. Where the fuck am I going? Back up. Go this way. There we go. Burr. Yeah, this course is fucking confusing. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a uh, supermarket laid out this confusingly before. Yeah. You've never been to Meyer. <laughs> nope, don't have those around here. We got we got Stop and Shop, we got Shaw's, and we got uh, we we got uh, a few Aldi and a few uh, what what you call it there? Uh, oh, uh, Super Walmart's. No I mean, listen, here. it's not out of the realm of possibility that one suddenly pops up. I mean, we're getting a Wawa, for God's sakes, and that used to be just a Northeastern thing. Uh, not but, even a Northeastern thing? That is just like a Jersey, Pennsylvania thing. Yeah. Like, there are no Wawa here in my Northeast. No, it's Cumberland Farms where I am. Yep. Cumbies. Yep, but not anymore. We're getting a Wawa at Indianapolis. Woo! That's interesting. They're opening a buck. They're opening a Bucky's around here too. I think in Dayton. Yeah, so that's kind of crazy because that's like a Texas thing. Yeah. Too. So we're getting a Bucky's and a Wawa. There's been a new chain of uh, gas stations recently called uh, Neon opening up around here. They're kind of interesting. They got like brick oven pizza. I I am last. Apparently, I wasn't that far behind though. Yeah. So that's nice. At least I didn't finish, like, last for a million years. <laughs> All right, thoughts on Revolt, Jason? Yeah, interesting. I mean, you know, uh, it's it's an RC car-based racing game with some interesting variety of characters. Or vehicles. Yeah, characters. Also, you can be dog nuts. Listen, I uh, I was playing as a panda. I am a character. <laughs> the, panda, <laughs> the panda is a character. Uh, yeah, panda, actually, go panda. 
Yeah, the the first car we had controlled like whoa, way way too smooth. But once we had a decent car, like that was great. Like I don't I don't I can't really find too much fault with that game. It's it's kind of generic ish. Uh, I don't know if there's other modes that you can like spice up and like have like items or weapons or things like that. But like that it's a perfectly serviceable racing game uh, for the N64. Scores out of ten, Jason. Seven. Yeah, I'll give it a seven. All right. Uh, we are going to uh, spin this bad boy and see what we get. Game number two of the episode. Well, we have five diarrhea cards. And I think one of them's about to happen. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. No, this is uh, gone. Yep. Diarrhea card initiated and used. We have four left. So good. You don't have to suffer through that one. Spin this again. See what we get. Uh, there could be another one happening here in just a second. <laughs> no, oh, actually, this is International Superstar Soccer, isn't it? It is. It's not a bad soccer game from what I remember. Okay. Well, I guess I'm playing it then. <laughs> Hopefully it's uh, got a computer mode, so I don't have to play it, play it. This is the second one on the N64, Superstar Soccer 9, uh, 2000. Yeah. This is, uh, actually, so it might be, just might be, the, a board of might be the third one, I'll be honest. I don't remember. I think it was 98, 99, and 2000. Fight for every ball. Uh huh. Every ball. All right, Stormy Daniels. This is this is actually the one that uh, uh, the franchise that gets uh, memed all the time with the Ronald Daniel soccer. All right, I S S two thousand. Okay. Is it going to work? Hello. All right. Um reset. <laughs> Maybe I won't create a note this time. It's a very No Mercy soundtrack. <laughs> okay, so apparently the Ronaldinho Soccer uh, 64 is a Peruvian bootleg version of the game that was made for the Brazilian market. And it became a meme back in 2020. Okay. All right. Uh, commentary on, of course. Pick your referee. Hasegawa? Hines? Then you can create a player, too. I'm obviously, I'm not going to do that. That'd be insane. Considering... Okay, I'm not, fellas. okay, that was hey, considering I'm not even gonna be playing this game. <laughs> I'm gonna be letting Okay, you... fellas. Alright, so let's let's pick two of the best teams. What if it was like Portugal versus Brazil or something like that? Those have gotta be like two of the best teams, right? Oh yeah, look at those stats for Brazil. Alright, Brazil. How do I go to the... Oh, I guess I could. And then... Portugal. Got to find Portugal. There it is. Ah, Portugal's stats isn't even that good. Wow. I'm kind of shocked. Holland. Look at Holland. Holland. All right, Brazil. Holy crap. Holland is straight 96s? Yeah, sure. All right. All right, there we go. Brazil versus Holland. 
Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's the Tokyo Dome! <laughs> For no reason. In the Tokyo Dome. <laughs> so I have to let it play. Can we get to the actual game? Thank you. <laughs> it's not making me hit buttons. All those freaking settings. Good afternoon, and welcome to this magnificent stadium. This is Chris James, and I'm joined by Tim Butcher to provide you with the... Tim Butcher? But that says Terry Butcher. What's his What's his name? Damn it! And now he says Terry. <laughs> My God, this commentary is so crazy. <laughs> the Denver Broncos. <laughs> Mr. Sanders. <laughs> the, the, the team occupying the right of your screen is the Denver Broncos. <laughs> the team occupying the right of your screen is Mr. Black. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Thompson. I think he's talking to you. <laughs> So uh, Roger passes to Bell Damp, passes to Davids. <laughs> Bell Damp. Sadaro. I know often I want to get my Bell Damp. <laughs> Sammy Zane is in the ring right now. <laughs> or, or is it Will Ospreay? I can't tell. <laughs> Roger passes the ball to Delphi. And oh, Delphi just got hit with a haluva kick by Sammy Zane. <laughs> It's a Flavio! Oh! Where's the other hip hippo? <laughs> ole! Ole! Play on says the ref. Good clearance. Number five. And again. Number 22. To the right. It's a 18 motherfucker. Passes a five motherfucker. Passes to 10 motherfucker. Passes seven. Fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with four. <laughs> I was but say, fuck with nine. I was gonna say dumb fucker. <laughs> dumb fucker. <laughs> Number fifteen. That's nicely played. Number five. Ten motherfucker. Cry right hard. Here. Cry hard with a vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was me after Dad left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, me meanwhile, Dane is missing this. He didn't diarrhea card freaking NBA in the zone. We could have had this. Yeah. And this is actually fun to make fun of. And it actually seems like a halfway decent game to play. I mean, I think I played the original one like 98. And, and I remember it being pretty fun. Number three, number two, number seven. <laughs> oh, one, one, eight, nine, nine, nine. Seven, two, five, three. <laughs> to the right, number 16. He bangs it forward. Tight defensive play. Number two, that's nicely played. He passes, he passes, he passes, he passes. Oh, he passes. He passes. Oh, no, stolen. He passes a stone. Passes. <laughs> oh, it's stolen. Number five. I love how passes to five. I love passes how every, to six. Every so often, up above the the red teams, just says like offensive, <laughs> defensive. <laughs> Somebody was making fun of them, so they're getting defensive. Center break. Center Brack. <laughs> hey! I'm on fire, baby! I'm a pickle Pete! I'm red banana Paris! And I'm, I'm good, good with meat! And I'm hot for you, baby! I'm a cucumber! I'm a cucumber! 
Please don't put me in a pickle jar. <laughs> I think my favorite one is still uh, friendship is like an ointment. Wherever you rub it, you know it feels better because it's a topical analgesic. <laughs> I also love the uh, the Space Ghost CD uh, the segment with uh, Brack drinking coffee. I hate coffee. It makes me jittery. This is what it sounds like when I had too much coffee. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you doing? Are you doing? Are you doing? I don't know what you're doing because I had too much coffee. Go. Go. Try to find the harmony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have a cheeseburger, a French fries, and a Coke. <laughs> you forgot my Coke. Where's my damn Coke? Where the hell's my Coke? <laughs> Still one of the best Who's Line segments of all time. Yes. <laughs> Get my brown pants. I still can't believe that Matt Pat watched every episode of Who's Line and tallied the points. That's insane. Yeah. He had to do something on a bonkers level, you know, as he was retiring from YouTube. And it's like, oh, you know, uh, what, what can I do for film theory that would be so weird and batshit insane? I'm going to tally the points in every episode of Who's Line. Now, when he says every episode, you eat all of them from all the versions? Because a lot of them had a lot of the same cast. That's the thing. He did it across every season, all of the versions. Yeah. So British American, the first American version and the second American version. Got it. Yeah. And and he noticed some patterns with how points were given out to like certain favorites in certain ways and even counted the points given towards uh, the audience when that would happen. All right. I, I forgot what the conclusion was. I think Ryan Stiles came out on top. I could be wrong. Well, yeah, he's been in the most episodes. So that yeah, makes that sense. Yeah, that too. I believe actually Colin has the most episodes appearances now because Ryan missed a couple in some of the Aisha episodes. Because he was sick, and they had Greg fill in for him. So it was a rare, it was a rare two four seater episode. It was uh, uh, Wayne, 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 Colin, Jeff, and Greg, which is an interesting dynamic, but it was still funny. Okay, so he wasn't the first person to do a video on it. Another video was done back in 2017, but it's been privated since then. Right. YouTube user 12 MedB Network. Uh, did oh, yeah. Along the, That's, uh, um, yeah, I actually know who that is. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, so did it for all of the Drew Carey runs. And, and, and I think Dane would have recognized the name, too, because uh, Dane and I were both. Uh, a part of a there was a website called Idiot Site, where is basically where Dan and I met, where we did improv on in chat rooms, and uh, Medby was a person who was in there a lot, doing improv yeah. with us. So, yeah, it says uh, says here that uh, actually Ryan and Colin uh, both clocked in at over uh, one trillion points, mm -hmm. but Chip Eston actually won by having a thousand points to the tenth power. Wow. Yeah. Number 10 was Stephen Colbert. Number six. Wow. Yeah. Number 21,000 points. So, uh, which puts him in 10th behind Karen Mariyama at 1,005,450. Nice. And that is in 2017. This is not the most recent tally that Matt Pat did. Well, that's probably the same number of points she still has since Karen Mariyama hasn't appeared in Who's Line since, but True, true. <laughs> same for same for Colbert. Yeah. 
I often forget that he made appearances in yeah. uh, Who's Line. He did one taping, and then uh, an episode of his aired in the first season, and an episode of his aired in like one of the later seasons, like it was ABC Family exclusive seasons, where they yeah, were just cobbling yeah. together shit from tapings. Free kick. And Dabushki kicked him right in the balls. Yeah, there there were some ridiculous point totals like uh, freaking uh, zillion jillion, I guess. Right. Yeah, one billion zillion. Oh, God, a number so high that Matt Pat had to give it its own term. 10 to the power of 12,440 or a who's line plex. Uh. I think 10 to the hundredth is a, is a Google plex, isn't it? Yeah. As I say. So that's uh, that's a lot. The overall, the overall winner is Ryan Stiles with thirteen with a, who's line plexes. <laughs> uh, that just sounds like Ryan Stiles' finishing maneuver. Who's well, line it says plex. here. Uh, was it? Uh, da, da, so million. One trillion three billion nineteen million four hundred and twenty thousand seven hundred and forty three point nine six points and a who's line plex. Uh. Yeah. That that is the actual total after he counted up all the points across every American season of Who's Line, I believe. He okay. didn't even include the British one. Which would make it even more insane. Yeah, because he's he's basically there from like almost jump. He appeared in the very oh, first and, season, and he included prizes that weren't points, <laughs> which is really kind of funny. Those few times that they were like, "I'm awarding you," blah blah blah. And it's like, what? And yeah, what about the time that Drew actually paid them in hundred dollar bills? <laughs> Uh, second place, Colin, obviously. Yeah. Uh, with um, one trillion three billion eighteen million four hundred sixty four thousand eighty seven point four six. And a who's line plex? <laughs> and a who's line plex? Oh, and some money too, and Cho Shine and a goose. And third place went to Wayne. <laughs> I love that you just like and a goose. And third place, <laughs> so it's like uh, glossing over the goose. <laughs> well, the the thing is, is that the show shine, the money, and the goose are all things that were included in Ryan's too. Right. But then Wayne came in third with five trillion, eighteen billion, three. Oh no, no, five billion. 18,340,955.46 and a who's line plex. Right. Plus $1,248.88 chapstick, a goose, some... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what was it, like seven cents, some raviolis, and a love letter or something? <laughs> I'm, I'm not even listening to the audio I'm just watching the video uh, and then Linda and Laura also wound up uh, getting uh, th this is a previous number decided upon from uh, Matt Pat when he was counting up the number of possible course combinations for uh, uh, Mario Maker he came up with the number of a Mario Plex so 20,100 uh, and a Mario Plex to Linda 16,100 and a Mario Plex to Laura. There you go. So, uh, but Ryan is the overall winner. All right. Thoughts on International Superstar Soccer 2000, uh, Jason? 
I mean, uh, you know, it's a serviceable soccer game, better than any of the FIFA shit they put out now. Uh, yeah. It's just a shame that, like, Konami decided to go free to play with their soccer franchise, and now it's just a laughable joke because Konami don't make games anymore. Yeah, I'm not a uh, I'm not a football fan uh, per se, but uh, it looks fine. I don't I don't see any real problems with it. Scores out of ten, Jason. Uh, six. I'll give it a five. Whatever uh, that meant. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know either. I think it ended in a tie that game. Yeah. Uh, anyway, last game of the episode. Let's see what we get. Something good. Something good. Something good. Something good. Battle tanks, Duke Nukem, Ogre Battle, Rugrats. None of the above. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, uh, no. You can still diarrhea card three more games. <laughs> all right. Yeah, sorry, Booby Soft. No Monaco Grand Prix. <laughs> you must feel like real Grand Prix about it. <laughs> That's a fucking oh god yeah no <laughs> i don't think we can make this one funny all right diarrhea card on this one then diarrhea card on this one too all right we're, nope. get, we're getting the crap out in this recording all right spin it again we have two diarrhea cards left no bass hunter oh my god uh, let me guess. All star ten. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Diarrhea. Why not? <laughs> All right. That leaves us with one diarrhea card. <laughs> I gotta shut that off. Shut this off. There we go. Uh. My God. We just hit all the bad games back to back, other than Superman. Just free spin. Uh, I just landed on free spin, so we're just gonna go ahead and spin that bad boy again. Spin again. I have. We've gotten so many games off the wheel that the little slider on the wheel that that hides some of them has disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> there we oh go. Battle tanks. All right, let's go, baby. I actually have this cartridge. Oh, I just hit myself in the face with my own microphone. <laughs> let's go, baby. Smack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of new games on the wheel in the next episode, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I know, right? See this diarrhea carded five games this session. Played nine. Oh. That's fourteen games that we've gone wow. through. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, yeah, easy. Uh, yeah, unlimited ammo. If you're going to give it to me as an option, I'm going to use it. Let's go. Start game. The fall. Uh, no, sir, it is August. <laughs> it's balls hot. <laughs> January, that's also not the fall. <laughs> <laughs> 2001, though. <laughs> a virus spread in 2001? Oh, Jeez. Jesus. Uh, you're you're about uh, 19 years early. <laughs> Madison. Will you... Will you... Rotate my balls? <laughs> <laughs> Please fondle my balls. Yep. Uh, this is this is a promise ring that that says you'll promise to fondle my balls. Female death rates increasing astronomically. The United States government declares marital law. <laughs> That's what it should say because it's you know find a female and marry her. Marital law. Uh, what? Uh, what? Game. Did it, did it game what the hell it yeah just froze oh what the hell oh Ooh. soft reset oh piss it crashed mm. 
That's some bullshit. Oops. You broke it. 3DO. Let's try this again. Maybe this time I'll just skip the, the opening. <laughs> Oops. I Family didn't, mode? I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Campaign. Campaign. Yeah. Yeah, campaign. Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah, I get it. The fall. Let's go. Ground zero. Destroy five tanks. That's one. Power up. Power up. Power up. Picked up radar. Has plane spun in. There were no survivors. Oh, not that radar. Not radar O'Reilly from Mesh. <laughs> My bad. I like how uh, we've got this kind of generic. It's Flight of the Valkyries, but generic. Power up. I'm not going to get over that voice. Brian Danielson, Brian Danielson, Brian Danielson has a beard. <laughs> and her name is Nikki Bella. Oh, wait. It's Brie Bella. Sorry. It's Brie. Yeah. So, yeah, no. He was a vegan, but he couldn't give up eating Brie. Ha! It's a cunning linguist joke. <laughs> I know I mispronounced yeah. it, but uh, you know what I meant. And yeah, Nigel McGuinness had been holding on to that joke for years. <laughs> Finally had a chance to use it. He sh took his shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I almost thought you were going to say he took a shit. Bonus points. Boner points. Oh, no. Oh, you can, like, drive through these, like, bombed out buildings. You can run over shit. Yeah. This is pretty, uh, pretty satisfying, actually. There is a tank at the end of the street. You are dead, sir. Power. Power I am up. the winner. I did it. I am the best in the world. My code you are is... the best tank. My code is... Miss <laughs> Jagger <laughs> Apparently my uh, my password is uh, bronchitis. <laughs> Peter Griffin has to cross the tunnel. Oh, I'm assuming there's like a I gotta go through a wall somewhere possibly. Probably right there. Is it? Oh, yeah, wait, ah, gotta, like, I see. I just got to go through this. It's, Jesus Christ. All right. Maybe? Poss possibly? Oh, there we go. Found it. I found the wall. Oh. There we go. You dead, son. Bonus points. Power up. I failed to define bonus points as a power-up. I don't know how that would power you up, per se. Points is like a very archaic thing at this point. Yeah. Hey, on the plus side, this was before 3DO started making nothing but like freaking army men games. Truth. Picked up two at once there. That was weird. Pow power up. Star and health. Yes. Yeah, blow up all those cop cars. Fuck the police. <laughs> Respectfully.
the funniest part of that song is the the clearly white guy at the end yelling, "You black motherfucker!" <laughs> like, because you just know he got shot after that. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been a courtroom, but hey, you know. <laughs> to get some of this shit out of the way. Ooh, extra tank. Nice. Extra life. I made it. Nice. I am the Winrar. I will, I'm Winrar going to... Winrar is you. That's right. I'm going to unzip a file. <laughs> Battle stats. When the ball dropped in 2001, it opened the doors of Armageddon, and suddenly here comes Bruce Willis a trudging in. Wait. Times Square. I. You say it's Armageddon, but I'm pretty sure this is what Times Square looked like when we were there, too. <laughs> Power up. <laughs> pretty sure it always looks like this. Actually, Armageddon could be an improvement in some aspects. <laughs> If I ever went back to New York, I don't think I would ever go back to Times Square just because there's just so much, there's too much happening there. Yeah, it's I've a, been it's a an, few times. It's an I've, overload I've on the senses. To see. Yeah, that's basically how I feel too. It's like I've seen, I saw Rockefeller Center, I saw the actual square. I saw I'll, the, I'll go back to Rockefeller Center only for one reason. It's Saturday right Night near Live. The, well, <laughs> that and the fact that it's right near the Nintendo store yeah. and the Lego store. For some reason, you want to go see a taping of t tonight. Oh, come on. Are you oh, fucking hell, kidding game? me? Are you kidding me? Uh, we still have a few minutes left on this segment. Oops. You broke it. I didn't do shit. Why, you lazy crap for crap. I think the, uh, the program's going to crash again. I can't. Hard reset's yeah. not working. Soft reset's not working. A don't do it. 3DO. Oh, there we go. I fixed it somehow. Yay! Well, that sucks, though, because that means I have to actually go back in here and start over. Is there a level select cheat or something? Uh, I fucking wish. It says input code, but I don't know of any codes. Uh, let's see here. Invincibility, all weapons, infinite ammo, infinite lives, invisibility, unlocks all gangs in campaign mode, unlocks the storm ravens, frog mode, replaces <sighs> the queen lords with toads, story mode, psychedelic view, it's spitting view, and level codes. Yes, there is. Okay. So we were on the third level, Times Square. Okay. Um, LHT. Uh, SPM. Light sperm. Got it. Frogs. FRGS. Light sperm frogs. <laughs> That's fucking weird. You know what? I'm wondering if the fact that cheats are enabled rather than actually using the real cheat codes in the game could be what's doing this I to mean, the game. That, that's a very good possibility. Hold on a sec. Because the thing is, is that you could actually just enter the codes for like invincibility, all weapons, infinite ammo, infinite lives. It would take a little bit of time, but at the same time, like... Hell, you could jump right to the last level if you wanted to and be like, I beat the game! <laughs> all right, I turned off all the cheats. Let's see if the game actually uh, cooperates. Uh, destroy 15. Oh my god, what is this? Nuke deployed. Nuke deployed. Oh my god! You you deployed a nuke. <laughs> Tactical nuke. And my and my goat is nuke. Muggle. 
Yeah, no, that that code that code tracks. I'm looking at the list right here for all the levels. Stranglehold Bridge. Just gotta cross the bridge. Uh, all the level codes set you up playing as the Nuclear Knights. Uh, both Global Assault and Game Boy Color have level codes, but they're randomized, apparently, and you have to use a level select code. Power up, power up. Good to know. Well, uh, I deployed my nuke again, and, uh, well, it, let's just say I probably won't have any further issues. Power just up, keep driving. Just keep driving. Well, apparently some, some some of them survived the nuke. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, despite shutting the 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 cheats off, it's actually running like there's still cheats running. That's weird. Didn't this happen the last time? I think so. I remember the second game being more fun, but this game was just kind of unhinged, too. So it was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I need to get Global Assault eventually. I, I do have uh, the cartridge for the first game, at least. Bonus, Bonus level! Boner level! Kill five tanks. There we go. There we go. Wave one. Oh. Keep going. Oh, okay. Boner. I love how that's just impact font. It is. It's impact font and, like, word art. Yeah. Just a uh, texture placed over it. So I guess you're stuck as a stationary turret for the uh, bonus level? I think. Is that it? Oh, you're on a track. That's what it is. Yeah, but I, I can't figure out how to move upon that track. Huh. Oh, there it is. It's left and right on the... It's C left and C right. Oh, that kind of makes sense. God, this is just so chaotic. It is. This is beautiful. Explosions and arson, everybody. Did somebody say explosions? Explode, explode, explosion, man. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, I was playing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And there's literally a moment in the game where Torg, whose whole thing is explosions, uh, he's a uh, bardic warrior, uh, a bard barbarian, and he whips out the loot and he starts doing some inspiration for the team to get along. And he inspires them so well that instead of repairing the boat that they have, he instead summons magic missiles. Literal magic missiles. And they nuke the ocean. It is hilarious. <laughs> I, I legit wish that we could play that freaking game for uh, Backseat Gamer. Does this bonus level ever end? I think I was supposed to be able to die at some point, but I think with the cheats, that's yeah. not possible. So we're just going to call it here. Uh, thoughts on battle tanks, Jason? Explosions? This It's a it's a fun game. It's basically just Vigilante 8 slash, uh, you know, 
Twisted Metal, but with tanks. That's fair. Uh, it is a lot of fun, though. Uh, the, getting to roll around in a tank and blow shit up. It's 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 a great game. Scores out of 10, Jason. Uh, 10. Yeah, I'll give it a 10. Uh, wait till you get to uh, Global Assault, the sequel. That'll be coming soon, because this game... Yeah. This game's been on the wheel for a while. Uh, yeah. On this episode, we played Hybrid Heaven. No, we didn't. On this episode, no, we, we didn't. played Revolt, uh, International Superstar Soccer 2000, and Battle Tanks. There's just a lot of stuff on the on my results because we did so many diarrhea cards. Um, yeah. Best game of the episode, Jason. Uh, In Fisherman, Bass Hunter 64. No, clearly it's Battle Tanks. <laughs> <laughs> yes battle tanks wins uh if you like what we do please hit subscribe be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos for jason amherst i'm mike riley saying see you next time on retro roulette goodbye everybody